Yakshimash. For those of you that are not Polish, that means hello. Recently I was involved in a rear end collision. I appreciate all the concern that was expressed on my Facebook page. Thanks for that. But it was, it was a minor incident. But it did teach me one thing after having a sore neck for a couple of days. Uh, and this is something that's been mentioned to me in the past, but it's one of those things you don't think about until after the fact. So maybe, maybe this can help some of you out there because, uh, in fact, uh, Michigan born 69, I think uh, you've had a rear end collision also. And that is headrests. Now, what happens during a rear end collision is your big fat melon head sits on a basically a tiny stick you call a neck and uh, that makes it um, that makes it susceptible to something called static inertia in other words a body at rest wants to stay at rest so your head wants to stay in the same spot but you just got rear-ended and your car your body and everything else is moving forward very rapidly you have these cool little things in your car to help prevent this um, they're headrests so let's adjust ours and uh, Hopefully I show how to adjust them properly, but if somebody out there in the medical field who knows more about this than I do wants to weigh in with a comment, more power to you, man. Anyway, let's get to it. As I said before, I'm sitting at a stoplight. In fact, I was just about to turn my head in this direction, and in fact, I was looking just like this. And then suddenly I was hit from behind. So before I knew it, I'm up here looking at the ceiling. And I gotta say, like I said, sore neck for a couple of days. So what you wanna do is you see where my head is hitting this headrest. You want to try and adjust it so that the bottom of your head, I don't have a whole lot of adjustment in this one. In fact, that's maxed out right there. So I guess I had it adjusted all the way, but I'm too big for this little Jap car. Uh, but you want to try to adjust it so that your head hits the headrest and not to where your headrest is all the way down and your head goes over the top of it because that will hurt. Ow. Um, so try to crank, well this is actually as high up as mine goes. Alright, so maybe you're like me and you had the headrest adjusted properly, but your neck still hurts. I tried. If you're a tall person, it's a good idea to adjust those things up so that as you just pretend, pretend like you're being hit and just throw your head back and hopefully the headrest hits just about at the base of your skull uh, and hopefully that will prevent uh, some kind of neck or spinal injury. Because I gotta tell you, that kind of sucks. But, uh, all's well that ends well. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't hurt. And if I'm going to be in an accident, I'll take one of those over the alternative any day. Anywho, I hope this information was helpful to you and perhaps saved you from getting hurt. Uh, once again, like I say, if you're a medical professional and you have, uh, uh, and you want to weigh in on this, feel free. Um, and those of you who are watching this video might want to look through the comments because I have some very smart viewers and they come up with some pretty good stuff. I'm Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com. Click it. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. In fact, I'll probably tweet that I made this video right now. So this is the part where I end and I say, be safe, have fun, and stay dirty. I don't know how to say goodbye in Polish. I'll work on that.